What's going on YouTube, all my Forex fiends out there, Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing you guys another weekly technical talk video. I go over all the technical analysis of the pairs going on for this week. I basically go through a video of how I break down my watch list every week to start the trading week, every weekend I should say. Every Sunday I go through the technical pairs, I uh, look for my setups I'll be looking for throughout the week, I get my watch list together so that I have a plan of action and a game plan for the week ahead. I'm prepared for whatever the markets throw at me by developing this watch list in coordination with my trading plan. So I go ahead and make these videos. I uh, do them as a live webinar for my students, record them, and do them as a recorded video for my YouTube following. So I really appreciate it. If this is your first time here, again, I go over all the currency pairs I'll be watching this week. I do go over an in-depth breakdown of all the US dollar crosses, whether they're on my watch list or not. I touch on the S&P 500. US equity markets, I touch on gold, and I uh, just do a quick breakdown of how I look for trades, how I form my watch list, how I use Fibonacci, trend lines, support and resistance. You'll see a little bit of everything technically in these videos. So uh, appreciate it. If you guys are tuning in for a repeat watch, thank you. I really do appreciate it. I'll keep these videos and more content coming for you all. Thank you for the support as always. Subscribe to the page if you like what you see, like the video, throw a comment, whether it's feedback or if you want me to cover anything in particular, I will be sure to touch on it for you. So uh, going to go ahead and dive into these charts here for you guys and break down what's going on in the Forex markets. But I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos and uh, support me here on YouTube. I'll keep the content flowing. Thank you all. Catch you on the charts. Alrighty, so hopping into the charts here, starting with the Euro dollar pair. As you guys all know, we've been going over this for a long time. We were in a beautiful uptrend all through 2017. Had some corrections within it, but really strong uptrend all through 2017. Early 2018, we topped out here on this 125 psychological um, weekly strong resistance level. We double topped off it, and since then we're in a strong range, closing into a pennant. We thought we could have had a bullish break to the upside, continue the trend, but we obviously know we have to trade playing both ways and we did get a break to the downside back to back two week sell off taking it to the weekly chart you can see here we were up in this very tight consolidation wicks on either ends back to back weeks we had a very strong sell off here and as you guys can see we've ripped through multiple levels ripped through here ripped through here taking it to the daily we blew right through the 200 SMA and now it's trading under the 200 SMA above the dollar 19 support and essentially what we want to look for now in this pair is this trend has reversed we're now looking at a new leg to the start of a downtrend right this is a lower low breaking structure below the smas even below the 200 now 20 cross below the 50 sma they're both sloping downward all the signs of a early stage downtrend are present now all we did have was the first initial push for a lower low so it's not 100% confirmed yet that this is in fact now a downtrend, but enough for my strategy and my style to say structure's broken, moving averages are telling me, trend lines are broken. This is the first leg of what could be now a trend reversal to a downtrend. So what I'll be looking to play is a bounce here. I think um, taking it to the US dollar chart real quick would probably help analyzing these dollar crosses. This is the strong downtrend we were in in the dollar all of 2017, early 2018, exact opposite of the euro dollar because the euro versus the dollar is um, the number one most heavily traded pair, the most volume, the most liquidity, and the US dollar is half of that pair. So this is going to be basically what you see on the euro dollar, you see inverse on the US dollar chart. So. This is going to look exactly like the euro dollar pair only flipped upside down we had this double bottom then we had this bearish pennant form and we had this back-to-back -back weak breakout broke right through the 200 sma right through that 92 psychological and strong support resistance zone and we are now trading up above it we did have a bearish engulfing candle close off of this resistance on um, thursday friday we got this shooting star so i do think we are definitely in turn for a sell off of the dollar at least to start this week we could see a weak dollar all week but at least to start this week i think we'll see a couple days bearishness which is what i like to see which is ideally what we want to see because that'll get us in at better prices for this next push higher so what we've got going on here is our first 
leg up, higher high. We want to get a pullback, whether it's to here or deeper for a lower, uh, higher low, then another higher high, right? So as trend traders, we want to look to get in on these higher lows as a pullback trader and then ride it for the next higher high. So that's what we're looking for out of the dollar here. We want the dollar to pull back a few days this week. If it's just a day or two, and then we see opportunities that it looks ready to go high long again, could happen. That, that's why the early stages of trend reversals like this are very good times to trade because there's always a lot of enthusiasm in the market and there's always a lot of movement. So this could be a very shallow pullback and price could explode. Could be a deeper pullback and then price explodes. But either way, this next leg is most likely gonna be a strong one. So we wanna make sure that we are ready to act when that um, long opportunity presents itself. So with this Euro dollar, I'm looking for a pullback to maybe the 121 area up here. I wouldn't really want to see it pull above the 121 because then we're going back up to 122 and we're breaking through this very significant level you can see here if we break above 121. So ideally, I would like to see a couple of days rally, hit 121, show us it's ready. Maybe we get a shooting star rejection off the zone and then ride it back down to around 118. Uh, 119 will probably be our first target and then 118 will be the next taking it to the dollar pound pretty similar scenario we were in a nice uptrend we broke one trend line we broke a second trend line 20 is now crossing the 50 sma this was a very strong move lower this whole push and as you can see price is trading down here moving averages are up here that is a big gap between the two of them and there's something in all technical analysis called mean reversion, which basically in statistics and anything involving statistical numerical stuff, um, things oscillate back to their averages. And in price action, it crossed any market in any chart. That is true. Um, there's multiple ways for price to revert back to the mean. You have price correction. So um, for example, here, price could now bounce off this 200 SMA in strong zone and get a little bit of a bear rally. Moving averages will continue falling and it'll catch up to price. And then maybe the moving averages act as resistance now and price continues lower. Or what we could see happen is price just consolidates here. And as price is consolidating, the moving averages come and they catch up. Price reverts back to the mean and then it moves. So um, price can consolidate or correct to the moving averages. But mean reversion is something that we always see happen after you get a strong parabolic move we got this move here price consolidated a little bit and then it corrected right and now it's been kind of choppy all along the moving averages since pushes away comes back to them pushes away it'll eventually catch up or come back to the moving averages so this is what we call overextended this price very impulsive strong move to the downside um, although this move could easily continue happening it looks like we're at a point now where we could see a bounce off this 135 strong level here, hitting the 200 SMA. Looking left, we got a lot of structure to the left as well. We got a nice demand zone created with this impulse higher here that we're hitting. So um, all in all, we are in a strong level here. Another one with this pound dollar, I'm looking for a bounce, some strength in the pound maybe, some weakness in the dollar. Rally up to around the 137 area would be nice could come back up to around the 137.50 if we throw a fibonacci level on this move downward we can see an aggressive bounce would be right around that 236 to 382 level that's where we see our aggressive pullback continuation trades so uh we could be watching for in there but again on this pair i'm going to be looking for a bounce maybe we find support resistance level in this 138 to 137 area and a continuation to the downside. Dollar CAD, um, really, it's trading above the moving averages. It's uh, you know made a strong leg higher, but I can't really say this is in any kind of trend. Um, it's it's kind of been a messy pair. You know, we typically look to trade markets like this as trend traders because there's a clear direction. We want to be on the right side of the trend. Um, even markets like this here. Are decent for trading but markets that look like this are tough to trade you've got a lot of chopping around a lot of false moves a lot of whip sawing um, that being said though there is opportunity with the CAD in this range so we've got a very tight 
range that price has been in since the 23rd of April, so about two weeks. And you can see, if I zoom in here, you can see multiple wicks to the upside with false breakouts to the upside. Um, that does make me think price is going to roll over and move lower. However, again, it's hard to say. If you're going to play this pair, I would just play a break to this range to the top or the bottom. Um, 128 to the bottom, 129 to the top. Wait for a confirmed break of the range, and that could be your signal to enter. A lot of times when you see a strong consolidation like this, there's a strong move followed. So um, definitely something to keep an eye on if that's your style of trading. If you like range breakouts, um, that could be a great opportunity there. Breakout trading is another one of the trainings that I cover. And this is a beautiful formation to look for a breakout. I ideally would like it to be in a trending market under a strong zone. It is definitely under a strong zone. This 129 level looking left is a very significant level. As you can see, it's held multiple times in the past. Um, so it's certainly at a strong area, which is another thing to look for with breakout trading. You want to trade something that is uh, held under or above a support or resistance, and it's ready to explode once it breaks it. So that is definitely a pair that you could be watching for. Dollar yen. Uh, I wanted to use this example real quick to show you Fibonacci application. So there's a few different things that you can use Fibonacci for. Support and resistance is entirely what it's used for. Um, identifying areas in a trend where price is likely to find support or resistance, res um, retrace to that, and then continue the trend. Um, so this area that price hit on this 200 SMA was a Fibonacci level. If you take this whole bearish move that price made from up here down to the lows down here. So this whole impulsive move lower bounced up 50 SMA was just barely broken and then held. So it's one way you can use it in the trending market. So you can see this is the new formation of an uptrend in the dollar yen, right? We broke structure down here set a higher high with this move. Now we're setting a higher low. So what we could do is take the Fibonacci and pull it from the whole move that price has just made. So from the beginning of this new up, upward uh, higher high leg to the top, you can see that price is rejecting the 236 right now. Very aggressive uh, pullback zone, not my favorite. I like 382, 50, and, th and 618. These are the most highly watched and the uh, you know most success I've found. So. We could see price pull back to maybe 382 and continue higher. Uh, it's a little hard to say right now. We do have an evening star formation, spinning top, bearish engulfing. But now we saw some rejection when price sold lower. You can see this hammer candle. So a little bit of a mixed bag here with the dollar yen. All in all, I am definitely still bullish. But we could see a, maybe a little bit deeper of a pullback before um, we continue higher. We, we are expecting another higher high to be formed soon after this higher low but um again just another thing to be watching i want to show you guys these fibonacci levels another way you can apply fibonacci is if you go to the most recent impulsive move so from here to the top of the move this would be drawing a fibonacci on this impulse leg looking for where it could pull back to and then continue the next impulse leg we got 382 that it's tapping now but then we've got 50 and 618 down here could pull back to 618 looks good if you look left we got some structure that looks like it could be a good area if we do end up seeing a deeper pullback but uh again another one we got to wait and see how the market's open what the markets are looking like and uh take it one step at a time from there dollar swiss franc um this is a very significant level price is at here taking it to the weekly chart you can see um this is you can see, yes, it has been respected in the past decently. Looking all the way left, you can see. But um, more so right now, focusing on this zone because of a couple different things. For one, that mean reversion I was telling you guys about, look at these three weeks in a row. Bang, bang, bang. Huge moves. Look at it on the daily chart. You can see massive explosive moves higher, right? The mean, the moving averages are all the way back here, moving almost straight vertical to try to catch up. We have hit a very strong weekly and daily supply level. On the weekly chart, you can see this strong move lower, this strong move lower. We blew right through this first supply zone, so I can get that out of there. And now this supply zone is holding here. Taking to the daily, you can see where price moved away. First time price came up and tapped this supply zone, sold off. 
This is not the first time it's touching it. It just barely tapped it last time, but we are seeing initial resistance with this Friday candle close with that wick. It's a very strong level, but it is the 1.00 psychological resistance. So this is parity between the dollar and the Swiss franc. This is when they're both equal in value. They both are equivalent to a dollar. So a do one Euro US dollar buys one Swiss franc, one Swiss franc buys one US dollar. And this is just a psychological barrier, like you see all the time with Dow Jones, S&P 500, on any of these financial analyst channels, uh, Bitcoin, 10,000, 7,000, 19,000, all these psychological numbers. Uh, human beings are trading. Human beings are making the computer algorithms that trade computer-based trading. And human beings are very psychological. Uh, we react to things that happen in threes. We react to whole numbers. We react to a lot of different things. We react to psychological areas that price has responded to in the past, which is why support and resistance is valid. Um, and this dollar parity is just a very psychological level. Not only does profit taking need to happen from this strong explosive move, anybody in this, any banks in this, any uh, big companies holding currencies, anything like this, um, profit taking needs to be done. So these places are looking for a good area to take their profits, take some money off the table and get out. And this is a, as good of an area as any. You can see price respected in the past. It's the dollar whole level. A lot of people are going to be watching this. This all being said, I think we're due for a pretty strong correction in the Swiss franc dollar to begin this week. Um, I think we'll see a sell off to around maybe the 99 might even come deeper. 98.50 or so. Um, again, price could very easily just continue higher and rip right through this level. Uh, that's why we have to always be prepared for our analysis to shift. However, we do need to have initial bias. We do need to be looking for opportunities so that if trades present themselves, we are ready to act. And that is what I'm seeing with the dollar Swiss franc. I'm going to sit on the sidelines, wait for it to play out for a few days. Hopefully by Wednesday, Thursday this week, some of these dollar crosses are ready to continue higher again. And, uh, really just waiting for a correction to occur in this pair. Aussie dollar, um, another one that's at a very significant level down here, very strong move lower. We do have a three day, um, somewhat of a pullback here. We have come back up to this 75.50 level and uh, price could now be ready to continue lower. Price could correct higher up to say like 76 range or so, maybe catch up this move, this uh, trend line. Um, however, we do know we're in a beautiful downtrend. We just set a lower low. We're setting a lower high now. 20s below the 50s, below the 200, all sloping downward. Great spacing between them. Uh, technically speaking, beautiful downtrend. So what we want to do now is look for opportunities to enter to ride the trend lower. And what we want to find is a good wholesale pricing, good discounted pricing with a pullback, bear rally. Look for price to show us an opportunity and continue it lower. So that's what we'll be watching in um, this Aussie dollar cross and the New Zealand dollar cross. New Zealand dollar sold off hard, bullish engulfing on Thursday. Friday, we did see a good amount of retracement of that bullish engulfing. However, price was rejected. Looks like we could see a bounce from this pair as well. It is uh, under a strong level, above a strong level. We could see range bound. You know, this is a, a good area for the Aussie and New Zealand dollar that we could see, you know, a little bit of uh, low base form possibly. And then we can look to enter this breakout. We can look to enter the retest, continuation of the breakout. Uh, there's a lot of different opportunities, guys. This is why uh, you know, I preach on building a strategy that fits you, finding what you like, finding what works, testing it. So this is a, another opportunity. We could look for a pullback, so a little the harder of a um, bullish bounce here. We could look for breakouts. When, when price comes back down and test this low, you could trade reversals if that's your thing. I'm, I'm a trend trader. I don't trade reversals, but you could trade reversals. So. Uh, Lots of different opportunities to trade these markets. And I'm um, just trying to show you guys all the different things that I'm seeing and what I'm watching for. But another pair here, I'm watching for shorts. I'm just looking for the right opportunity to show itself. Moving on to the rest of my watch list now. I'm not going to go through every currency pair that in depth. I just go through the dollar crosses like that. And now I'm going to move on to my watch list. We've got a few pairs that need to correct that are in strong trending moves that we now want to look for a pullback. One of them is this uh, Swiss franc yen. As you can see, we broke this support here, made this nice impulse lower. Now we want to see a bullish bounce. Maybe price comes all the way back up to 110.50. Um, maybe it comes back up to 110, nice psychological resistance. Uh, all in all, we are looking for price to now make a bounce. We can look left, find structure. Um, the next real target I see is 108 down here. But I don't want to get in it right now and try to chase that 108, even though there's still 100 pips to catch with that. 
I want to wait for price to come back up to maybe 110, 109.50, and then ride it down to 108 and try to find that 200 pip move, the 150 pip move. Um, so that's what I'm looking for on the Swiss franc, Japanese yen. Pound yen is another interesting one. Um, we were looking for longs in this opportunity once this higher high was made, higher low. We did catch a nice long, did take profits in here, but it didn't continue going up like we were hoping. We now broke this trend line and have now reversed and are back to a downtrend now. We set a new lower low. This was structure. Price broke it, set a new lower low. As you can see, trading below all the moving averages. The 20 SMA is sloping hard down now. The 50 is sloping downward. 200 is kind of flattening out. We'd like to see this, two, this 20 come back down across the 50. But uh, another pair here where we'd be looking for a pullback. It'd be nice to see it go up to not the 149 level, as you see looking left. That's a pretty significant zone. Show us that it wants to reverse and continue to the downside. Put some stops up here. Put some targets down here, down here. Get in around here and ride this pair lower, right? So that's just a little mock setup of what a pullback trade looks like. That's what we will be looking for here on the pound yen. Not the nicest trending pair or the best setup, but... Uh, we will be keeping an eye out for an opportunity to present itself um, in the next coming weeks with this pair as well. Pound Aussie, another one. Strong moves. I did just violate this downtrend line with this strong break and close here. We're now below the 50, below the 20. 20 sloping lower. We broke structure out of this higher low that price formed on this black line. Higher low formed, higher low respected, higher low broken lower low now made we are in a very significant level right now as you can see on this area here so i do think price might bounce maybe we move a little bit lower on the open and then we pull back to retest this trend line but this could be a nice trade one way or another whether it pulls back like that maybe it pulls back like this but another one here is like the dollar pairs um looking for that early trend reversal trades this is if we see pound weakness continue so uh another opportunity here this wasn't a nice high base could have broken out to the upside but price reversed instead and i do want to see something happen with this 179 level here as if you look left it's a very strong zone but another pair here with some opportunity to present itself in the coming weeks pound cad this is another one playing on pound weakness. As you can see, this trend line was broken. Structure was broken. Trends reversed. 20s crossed the 50 SMA. Very nice technical sign. Uh, sloping downward. The 200s still above 200, but 200 is very far away from price. So nothing really to worry about with that. Looking left, we are on an um, area of interest right now. It's acted as support and resistance in the past. So what we could see... Again, very similar setups across the board this week, as I've been telling you guys with these um, pullbacks we're looking for now. We could see a bounce here, maybe up to this 176 level, looking left. That's a nice zone as well. And then we could try to hop on that continuation to the downside and try to find a nice discounted price level to get in this pair short and uh, you know, hop onto this downtrend in the pound CAD, Euro CAD. Another similar situation, trend reversed, lower low set, lower high, another lower low. Now we're looking for a lower high to get in. Price could correct. This level would be a very nice level, as you can see, looking left with structure. If we throw a Fibonacci level on this move here, which would probably be more applicable on a four hour. If you see from taking this move down, you can see that would be right in the 382 to 50 Fibonacci level. Very, very, very nice, strong Fibonacci level. So we could look for a correction up to that point. And on the four-hour chart, you can really see that level as well, how often it's been respected. Um, so that is somewhere as we could be looking for a pullback, price to hold, enter lower. This weekly blue trend line could be a beautiful take profit zone, as you can see from this um, trend line application, that that's a very nice level to be looking for. Um, pound Swiss franc. This one is coming up to a strong support level around 134.50 to 135. Um, we are still in a nice uptrend. We set a nice higher high. We've pulled back now, looking for a higher low. If we set a higher low around this area, we could be looking for a nice long opportunity playing that if pound strength continues, comes back. 
And then we have a nice target area up here around 138. Nice stop level down here below where price finds support. Enter around this area somewhere and you got a nice looking risk to reward if you want to ride this pair and ride this trend back to the upside now. If this support is found and if we see some strength return to this pound pair. Um, again, just another pair I'm watching this week that I want to share. Euro New Zealand, another one. It has set a higher high, now pulled back. We are seeing some strong momentum possibly ripping right through this zone. This 170 support we've bounced off of now is what I'm definitely watching for price to hold on or not. If price breaks through that, we're going to have broken through the moving averages as well. And I'm not going to be looking for any kind of trades on this pair for a while if that's the case. But if this support holds, we get a nice bullish engulfing or so bounce off this level and it shows us price might be ready to continue higher. Then we could be looking for long opportunities on the Euro New Zealand as there could be an opportunity presenting itself there. Euro Aussie. Um, one sec. Another similar situation. This area it's on now at around 158.50 needs to hold. You can see this momentum. It could blow right through it. Um, it is definitely at a make it or break it point right here. If we do find support, we could look for some long opportunities to ride this back up to 161 level. Um, however, if it breaks, we would be looking for a price to then make its way to this daily trend line, potentially uh, break and retest it and reverse the trend there. But Another pair that we're watching here to see what price does. We've been watching Euro Aussie for a while now. It's been in a nice trending market. So uh, we want to keep those pairs close when we're seeing that. Euro Swiss Franc. Beautiful um, bullish pennant pattern in an uptrend. So we've been in a strong uptrend setting higher highs. Not really setting much higher lows. Haven't seen much pullbacks. More of a consolidation. So we're in that consolidation now. Taking to the four hour, you can see this pennant a little better. We're setting uh, lower highs and higher lows. Price is trapping this. These trend lines are trapping price between here. What we like to see happen here is now a breakout, whether it be to the upside or to the downside. We like to look for breakouts now. We're trend traders, so we'd like to see a setup to the upside. Um, but again, this is another pair we're watching, and it's under a very significant dollar twenty psychological resistance level. So we could see a nice strong pop if this pair is able to break that um, pattern. We are also watching Aussie CAD. <clears throat> Aussie CAD here. As you guys can see, we've been in a strong downtrend. Came down, hit this daily and weekly demand level down here. Also a support zone. Price has now bounced. 97 is acting as temporary resistance. We'll see if that holds. Could be a decent shorting opportunity to ride it down and look for another lower low. But again, this is another pair that's pretty overextended. Mean reversion definitely in place. Um, so we could see a little bit of a deeper pullback in this pair. Even if it came up to around 97.50, uh, still be looking for shorts because that would be, you know, moving averages would have caught up and that structure would still be holding. It's a very strong level looking left. So uh, that's something we could be watching for here with the Aussie CAD, New Zealand CAD. Another one kind of similar on a strong support level now. would like to see it bounce up to around 91. Price hold, get into a pull back short trade there off that pair and continue it to the downside and CAD Swiss francs the last pair on the watch list another one that's been in a nice uptrend higher highs higher lows set a higher high look for a pullback on a higher low now price maybe pulls back to around this 77 level find support and then catch the next impulse wave higher and ride that pair to the next level uh, that covers the forex pair watch list that I have now I'm going to hop into real quick two more charts I like to cover. One's the S&P 500. This is the equity markets in the U.S. As you guys can see, this 200 SMA black line right here is still acting as our support in this um, price action. We're in a nice bull pennant here. I even heard them talking on Bloomberg about this technical formation of a bull pennant on the um, S&P 500 chart, which means there are millions of people watching this. And when price breaks this one way or the other to the upside or the downside, I do expect a significant move. Uh, one thing we can look for with a big pattern like this is a one-to-one -one move of the pattern. So let's say this huge range that price has been in in this pennant breaks to the upside potential, breaks to the downside potential. So um, just some technical analysis. We know that the equity markets are very closely related to the Forex markets. The uh, SP 500 and the Japanese yen inverse correlation safe haven currency 
Um, Aussie New Zealand CAD, the growth currencies, they react strong when the stock markets are strong, when there's risk on in the markets. So the whole risk on, risk off theme, this chart has a lot to do with. So it's something that we want to follow as foreign currency traders. Gold, something I don't personally trade or follow much. Uh, I mean, I don't trade much, but I do follow it. I do provide analysis because a lot of people always ask, and we are still in this big range on the daily chart. Taking it to the weekly, you can see that this range a little cleaner. Price is trading in, and you can see it kind of tried to break out of the bottom of the range this week, but price bounced immediately. Um, so this could be a false break happening here. 200 SMA on the daily is also acting as support here. Price started to break out, hit the 200 SMA, and popped. So um, I would, if you guys trade this gold, I would be looking for a break of this range one way or the other. If you're a range trader, uh, maybe this is a good opportunity for you to get in long here. If you want to try to catch it to the top of this range with a stop below 200 SMA and the bottom of the range, you know, could be a good risk to reward opportunity there. But um, if you look for more confirmation, wait for it to break this range, maybe pull back to retest it to get it at a better price and then catch it long or short, whichever way it breaks there. But all right, guys, thank you. That covers the technical analysis charts here. Hope you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you do. Throw a comment if you want me to cover anything in particular. You have any feedback, anything like that. Shoot me an email, Corey at corefxtrading.com. Corey with an E, C-O-R-E-Y. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos, and I will catch you in the next one.